Today I'm going to show you some of the new technologies we've been working on here at Bohemia Interactive Simulations. Uh, I'm Pete Morrison, I'm the co-CEO of the company, and I'm very excited to show you some of the latest innovations in VR technology integrated with VBS Blue. So what you're seeing here today is uh, an Oculus Rift with a leap motion sensor uh, connected to uh, obviously a desktop PC for rendering the VBS Blue environment. Uh, also connected to Flex Air, which is a constructive simulation that also acts as a simulation host, uh, mostly for aircraft entities. So Flex Air is controlling the own ship, the flight model of, of my aircraft, as well as the flight model of AI entities in the scenario. Now the reason we're doing this is the idea that a pilot could sit with some low cost hardware and actually control various parts of the cockpit using uh, gestures by pointing at switches and toggling them in the VR space. So we're going to start the scenario now and I'm going to show you what it looks like. So obviously I can look around the scene because I'm tracked in six degrees of freedom. And what you'll also see is that my hands are tracked. So I can actually interact with various parts of the display just by moving my hands. So we're flying over a geo-specific version of San Francisco here, rendered in the VBS Blue environment. So let's just fly down now over the city. So VBS Blue, of course, is a whole Earth rendering engine, so you can fly to any corner of planet Earth in this simulation. Uh, and you use source data, so geo-reference source data. In this case, it's OpenStreetMap for the buildings and the roads, DTED for the height field, obviously. And when we get down closer to the park, you're going to see that we have vegetation that's come in from various biome data. And of course we have the Golden Gate Bridge, which is a static object, which has been imported as a cultural uh, feature into the terrain. So VBS Blue here is, is running at very high frame rates, which of course is what's needed for the Oculus Rift to work correctly. And at any time we can still see our hands rendered in 3D, thanks to the leap motion. So at iTech, we're going to be uh, showing this technology, of course, connected to a D-Box motion platform. So come along, visit us at the show, and I'm sure you'll be impressed with what uh, modern VR technology coupled with VBS Blue can deliver. Thank you.